Hello, Exorcists, and welcome to the Lair of the Film Exorcist. Tonight, I will be finally taking a look at Venom Let There Be Carnage. Eddie Brock is still struggling to coexist with the shape shifting extraterrestrial Venom when deranged serial killer Cletus Cassidy also becomes host to an alien symbiote. Brock and Venom must put aside their differences to stop his reign of terror. I'm gonna be honest, I'm right in the middle of the two parties in this one. I mean, Venom is one of my favorite characters, and I will even go as far to say as I was really excited to hear that he was going to be a part of the next Venom movie. Let me make it clear, I love Woody Harrelson. I love him. He's really good in Zombieland. In itself, he is a really good character, but uh, he doesn't feel like Cletus Cassidy in this. Uh, I mean, personally, I haven't read the comics. I know the origin story. I've heard the origin story read by Variant Comics. They're another really good YouTube channel that uh, discusses a lot of orange origins for superheroes, uh, but... Yeah, this doesn't feel like Carnage. He's not psychotic enough, if that's possible to say. I mean, Woody Harrelson is funny. Sometimes you can believe he's psychotic, but here he's a little too goofy to be Cletus Cassidy. Cletus Cassidy is supposed to be this psychotic ultimate killer. Some might even say a lot crazier than the Joker. I mean, he's willing to kill whatever comes his way. Man, woman, child, where the Joker won't even kill a child. But here, we don't really get to see much killing. We get the very well done uh, drawing esque sequence of uh, what Cletus Cassidy did. I mean, we do see that in the comics, uh, but yeah, I would have liked to see a bit more of that in the beginning as like a prequel to this. The one good thing they did really was they put Cletus Cassidy in jail where we do, that is one of the first places that we meet him in uh, the Spider-Man comics, uh, where he meets Eddie Brock, who has the Venom symbiote inside of him after he tries to kill Spider-Man for the first time. He, uh, Infects Cletus, Cletus becomes Carnage, which is the child of Venom, uh, and he ultimately destroys Spider-Man. I mean, Spider-Man can't beat this character without one of his greatest enemies, Venom. And there are a lot of variants of Venom in the comics. I mean, this shows how well done he is as a character. I mean... Uh, Deadpool had a variant of Carnage where Carnage took over him, took over his body. Uh, Iron Man had the Carnage symbiote. Uh, the Goblin became the Red Goblin uh, because of it. There are so many characters that have been infected by this wonderfully evil creature that it's kind of sad to see him in this state. I mean, don't get me wrong. I loved the battle sequence in the prison where he's just going at it, killing as many people as he can, turning into a cyclone and essentially eating people through the cyclone. Um, I believe that is a power he has in the comics. I also really like the ending battle, uh, but it also felt very similar to what happened with Riot in the first uh Venom movie. I mean, yeah, there's not much you can do with a big battle between two giant aliens, uh, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, there's also the problem of they put it in a church, which is a bit of poetic justice, since that's where Venom become, where Eddie Brock becomes Venom, and it's where. Carnage dies in this movie. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already seen this, so it's not really ruining anything, but uh, yeah, Carnage dies in this movie in a very lame way. Uh, Venom uses uh, the death of Shriek to essentially use Shriek's power to uh, split up 
Cletus and Carnage, and they end up falling to the ground, split. They're split, so Carnage is on one side trying to slink over to back to Cletus, and uh, they end up eating Carnage, which they kind of ruined it by having the line of, he did not taste good. Um, okay. This is why I don't like comedies. I mean, the first Venom, yeah, that was a comedy, but it was at least funny and knew how to balance everything. This one, there's way too many jokes in it. Way too many bad jokes. Right after they kill Cle Cletus, uh, Venom says, I'm tired of this guy, and steps on him, and that kind of ruins... For me, I get it, Marvel is big on killing their villains, but that kind of le that kind of ends the possibility of bringing any of them back for a sequel or another movie. I mean, I would have liked to see Carnage come back like in the comics, but they don't do that. They ruin that and they ruin the scene, which could have been heartwarming in a way which doesn't really connect with Cletus Cassidy but they ruined it with a joke. I also hate the idea that they make a note of Cletus Cassidy and Carnage not being symbiotic in this movie which let's be honest in every comic book iteration they are the most symbiotic of any of the symbiotes. One is a psychotic killer with a hunger for just blood and the other one is a creature that just wants to eat everyone and kill venom and kill anyone that gets in his way so they are pretty much they are heavily connected and by adding shriek into this and yeah i know shriek is in the comics she's cletus cassidy's romance in one of the comic books but i feel she didn't have that much of a, of a part to play i mean yeah she's the reason why Cletus Cassidy uh, has the Red Wedding in this movie and uh, she's his target, she's his prize, but yeah, she just felt wasted in this. Cletus is not big on possessions, material possessions in the comics. He's all about the thrill of killing someone, of eating someone, and he is the most psychotic character. He is... Honestly, the most dangerous fucking character in the MC in the Marvel comic book universe, and he's had some of the darkest scenes in those comic books, killing hundreds of people in some of the most gruesome ways, and they don't feature this at all in this, and I get it. They're trying to make this a PG-13 uh, mature film because it's Sony. And they did that with the very first Venom, but yeah, you can't have a no. you can't have that if you're gonna have Carnage in this. You need it. You need to make it more like Deadpool, where Deadpool had all these curse words, had all these ways of killing people. Uh, that was a mature movie, rated R. I'd even go as far to say. I mean, I love the costume, I love the characters, but they downgraded. Carnage, one of my favorite uh, villains from Marvel Comics, next to Venom. They also did the stupid plot line, which a lot of people are saying it's very stupid, and I agree with them. It's uh, Eddie and Venom are tr having trouble growing together, uh, living together, and it turns into a whole one goes one way, the other one goes the other way, one's worse off. Without them, the other one's sad because they wish the other one was with them uh, on their bender of coming out. And yeah, no. No, it, it did. You did it already once. Don't do it again. I really like Venom, but this one? <sighs> no, not at all. And it was good to see a uh, female Venom again, uh, but again. In this one, they relegate her to like a cameo, and then Venom just goes back to Eddie. I also don't get the toxin thing, like most people. Uh, we didn't see anyone him bite uh, Carnage. We didn't see anything like that. I guess maybe some of Carnage's 
uh, goo came off onto him and slinked into his mouth. I don't get how uh, the police officer got infected with carnage. I don't get it and it's really confusing because yeah, we know that this cop, I, I forget his name, he was so annoying in this movie and unneeded. Uh, I get it, he's supposed to be Toxin in the comics, but how does he become Toxin? How does he get infected with Carnage? Is there like a certain scene that we're all missing that he gets infected? The plot is a mess, the story is a mess. The costumes again are really good, they did fix uh, Venom's costume from the first movie, but yeah, this is a mess. I mean, it's fun to watch. It's gonna be a while before I come back to this movie and ever watch it again because yeah, it's it's not a good sequel. Yeah, for this movie, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. Just, it should have been rated R. It, you can't put Cletus Cassidy in a movie if you're going to make it uh, for kids. It's really hard to make a serial killer likable or funny in a Marvel movie. Deadpool definitely showed that heavily, and Sony obviously didn't get the message, so yeah, I'm a bit afraid to see Venom 3 when it comes out. Uh, anyway, this has been my review of Venom. Let there be carnage. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the little notification bell for more videos and to see more of our content. Have a great night, and Sony... Learn your lesson already. You screwed up with Resident Evil. You screwed up with this one. What's the next big screw up? Oh wait. Next you're doing uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So let's see if you can... If lightning will strike twice. Or if not, this might be another chunk taken out of your revenue. Have a great night, guys.